everybody and welcome to Flock Talk. Today we're going to go over how to make your own natural wood perch out of nothing but a couple screws and a branch you can find outside. Now before this video do make sure you have thoroughly disinfected your branches, you know what species they are, non-toxic, pesticide free, all of that great stuff. Uh, I did a video over here if you don't know how to do all that. And once you've done all that, feel free to continue on, and let's get going. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is take your disinfected branch, and you're just going to drill a hole in it. If you happen to have a hand drill, that'll work, but I didn't, so I used a punch drill. You're just going to drill a small hole that's, you know, just a small hole. Next, what you're going to want to do is take any old screw that's the same size as your hanger bolt, and you're going to use this to drill a properly sized hole into the piece of wood. Uh, when you do this, you'll see that I have a wrench wrapped around my branch. This is just to help keep it from splitti splitting my split anyways, but it doesn't so much matter because birds are going to be chewing it and destroying it and ripping it to shreds anyways. If you are worried about the split that happens, you can always use a zip tie and just tie it shut, or you can wrap that part around with strings so birds don't get their toes in it. It's not really that big of a deal. <laughs> um, so you're just going to thoroughly screw that in and screw it back out. And once you've done that, you're going to take your hanger joint and you're going to screw that in. What a hanger joint is, is basically it's a screw on one end and a kind of regular part on the other that's typically used to put a hanger there so you could hang it from the ceiling. But multi-purpose, we're using it for birches today. So what you're going to do so you can screw the hanger joint is, is take the hanger that's supposed to go on it and use that as a handle to help you drill it into the piece of wood. Um, and once that's all done, it's all screwed in, you just need a pair of pliers to hold onto the uh, hanger bolt and you're just going to screw the hanger part off and you're left with a screw inside of the piece of wood. Uh, one thing I really need to note here is make sure that what you're purchasing, all the metals here, are non-toxic. Don't use zinc and all that stuff. Stainless steel is typically your best bet. You can find them at common hardware stores. If you can't find them, try and find them online. It's a lot better than risking giving them heavy metal toxicity and all of that. That is pretty much the main basics of this. All we're going to do now is put it onto the actual cage. So what you're going to do is you're going to use a washer. I couldn't find a washer with a small hole and a big flat metal area, so I ended up having to use one washer that was big and one that was slightly smaller just to cover that hole. You're going to put them on the small washer first, then the big washer, squish it up against the wall of the cage, then you're going to go the big washer, then the small washer, and then you're going to use a, a bolt, or sorry, a nut, and if you don't have an, if you, if you can't find a wing nut, which I unfortunately couldn't, you can just use a regular nut, it's not too important as long as you can get it on and off the cage. You just screw that on and ta-da, you got a perfectly good working perch. If you've got a larger bird, obviously use bigger branches, heavier bolts, you can probably use two bolts or whatever, but small birds you typically only need one bolt and you're good to go. It's three minutes to put up, set up a perch. It was not that big of a problem. Makes a lot of fun, easy, chewable perches that you can rip to shreds, have lots of fun with. Alright, so that's about it for this video. You can see your ZB's having a lot of fun playing around on her perch. Uh, very quick, very easy, very simple to do. And um, gives them lots of fun. They can chew it to shreds. It costs you hardly anything. And you can just make them over and over again. You can repurpose them. You can do whatever the heck you want with them. Your bird gets to have fun. It gives them well-exercised feet and all that good stuff, rather than sitting on old dowel perches that'll give them sores and bumblefoot and all that sorts of jazz. Alright, so thank you guys so much for watching, I hope you liked this video. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, feel free to leave them somewhere down below and I will get to them when I can. Thank you so much for joining me here, and I will see you all next time. Bye!